Anyone remember Wheelie and the Chopper Bunch? Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragman gal! Sonny, you kissed my water! Baby, my heart's on fire! We retroview another Transformers animated figure, Deluxe Oil Slick. Transformers Animated was a line which, among other things, brought innovation to Transformers figures, especially with motorcycles. Most previous Transformers that became motorbikes were hit or miss, mostly miss. But Transformers Animated finally brought some motorbike alt modes that became convincing robots by thinking outside the box. Among these bike formers was Oil Slick, a Decepticon chemical warfare specialist. He had barely 30 seconds of screen time on the TV show, but that didn't stop them from making an action figure for him. Out of box, Oil Slick comes with his little instruction leaflet. He also comes with two barrel weapon accessories, each of which has its own specific use. One of the barrels has an openable lid for when Oil Slick wants to knock back a few with his buddies. Another one splits in half and unleashes a chain. It's meant to be a sort of flaily weapon, but it's more comical than anything else. <coughs> Take that, and that, and that. Well, why isn't this working? And you put it back together by just sort of draping the chain back to the inside, and then fitting the halves back together. And this is Oil Slick in his alt mode. It's a kind of Guns N' Roses punk-style chopper bike. It has neat paint and colors. It feels pretty solid. It has some neat detailing on it, like this ridginess on the side. It's studded with these cool-looking spikes, and it's got this ram skull on the front. How can you not like that? The color scheme was an interesting choice with some greens and some gold and a really, really deep gold color that's almost brown. Some of the parts are made of soft rubber, like the bike handles. I'm not sure why they did that. If they were worried about breakage, they could have just made the handles thicker and more robust. The goat skull is also made of soft rubber, so don't try to bend them too far or you could wind up snapping them. He rolls on smooth surfaces, but not very well. The front tires especially don't seem to roll unless you really bear down on them. These little spiked panels off at the side can be tilted upwards. The barrel accessories can then be pegged in, and he can carry them along on his next kegger. Transforming to robot mode isn't overly difficult. Like most of the Transformers animated line, they have simple engineering, but which yield excellent results. Flip up these spiky side panels, then you kind of prise up and tilt backward the seat section so that it's pointing up. Kind of grasp the motorcycle body firmly, and the rear section of the motorcycle, you see this kind of seam between them. Then pull, and this will lift Oil Slick's leg sections out. Straighten them and separate the legs. Reclamp the spiky panels. Rotate the tire sections until the feet are more or less flat. And then tilt up these little exhaust pipes to become his toes. At the front of the bike you will see this little hinge thingamabobble. Lift and rotate out the ram head section. Then split apart the front of the bike. You can see that these two front halves have these little pegs that push together when transforming to vehicle mode, and they tab firmly in place. Pull them apart when transforming to robot mode. There are a section of dual hinges on the inside. They invert outwards. Invert them so that they fold inwards. There is this tiny peg inside, and a hole on the opposite end of the hinge. Peg those together, and snap them into place to form the shoulder. Do the same for the other side, and rotate the arms to face forwards. You will need to tilt the hinge for the ram head section until it is folded up against the side of the arm. The rubber parts of the handles rotate down and backwards so that they fold out of the way, making them slightly less visible. Turn the bike around, and on the back there is this little panel that you pull out. Doing so will allow you to fold the robot head out from inside the bicycle, do so, and then clamp it back shut. Inside each of the tires are a set of folded rubber parts that form his fingers. Also fold out the little rubber thumb spike. 
And this is Oil Slick in his robot mode. He's got a kind of Mr. Freeze punk vibe going on with his helmeted head. It's pretty neat that they modeled a head and then actually sealed it in plastic so that he looks like he is an evil hazmat doctor. It's supposedly protection from all the corrosive and toxic materials that he works with. The skull on the shoulder is asymmetrical, but it still works. The spiky fingers and the swooping contours make for a cool appearance. The colors may seem to be an odd choice with the browns, greens, and gold, but it's worked in with some good sculpting. These figures don't have nearly as much detailing as figures like lines from Siege, but they were made specifically to mimic the animated appearance of the cartoon show, and hand drawing in a whole lot of detail can make an animator wish for me to appear. On the inside of each one of the hand wheels, they have a peg hole so that you can plug in the barrel accessories. Anyone want a pint? And of course you can fold out these spiky panels at the base of the feet and plug them in there as well. According to the instructions, there is also an attack mode. Basically what you do is just fold the seat sections back, tab them together like this as best as you can, rotate the arms forwards, fold in the thumbs, then with his legs tucked up slightly like this and his arms folded forwards, with the finger spikes still pointing out, you put him back down as if he were a motorcycle and that's the attack mode. Yeah, I know, it's pretty lame. Ooh. For articulation, Oil Slick has a head that can be rotated 360 degrees. It will also angle forwards and backwards slightly. As weird as the shoulder setup is, they will still rotate nearly 360 degrees. Though these panels at the front kind of bump into the hinge and get in the way. You may also rotate out the arms to angle them for splaying. Unfortunately, there is no rotational swivel, so they are locked in a forward position. But the elbows will allow you to angle it forwards and backwards over 180 degrees. He also has another hinge on the inside of the elbow that will allow you to fold his arms and tuck them up against his sides. Who, me? There is no rotation on these big hand thingies, but you can fold the fingers and the thumbs in and outward on ball sockets to pose the hands for menacing claw slashes. There is no waist rotation, how could there be with this weird comma-shaped body? But the hips are ball socketed and they will rotate forwards and backwards freely and splay in and out to a fairly high degree. There's no thigh swivel, but you can still rotate them in and outwards a bit to pose the legs better. And the knee joints will bend backwards almost all the way. You can roll the feet forwards and backwards slightly, depending on how you have him standing. So if you're patient and gentle, you can get a lot of good poses out of your oil stick figure. Pick me, teacher, pick me! <laughs> For size comparison, here is Transformers Animated Deluxe Oil Slick, next to Combiner Wars Legends Wreck Gar. Here is Animated Deluxe Oil Slick, next to Transformers Prime First Edition RC. And here is Transformers Animated Deluxe Oil Slick, next to Gollum, while wearing the One Ring. What? You don't see him? Like his cartoon appearances, Oil Slick seem to have been kind of tossed into the Transformers animated line as an afterthought, but if so, it was the thought that counts. Positives are a unique and solid alt mode, good paint and colors, they really played up the spiky punk biker angle for him, and a Frankenstein's monster style robot mode that oozes with personality. His weapons are unique, albeit weird. And the transformation is effective without being overly complicated. Negatives are that the weapons are a bit too weird to pass off as effective. He doesn't roll very well. The attack mode stinks. And the rubber parts seem worrisomely fragile. But if you can still find this figure for sale, he pads out the sometimes sparsely populated Decepticon roster very well for your Transformers animated collection. And I give Deluxe Oil Slick 7 out of 10 deaths. 
is bad to the bone. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone, old baby. Tell the boy and tell me I'm your own. Thank you.